Hello everyone, my name is Mark Stratton and I'm a program coordinator with the New York State HIV Primary Care and Prevention Center of Excellence. I'm joined today by Dr. Sanjeev Shah. Welcome Dr. Shah. Thank you, Mark. Dr. Shah is an attending physician at the Gotham Gouverneur Clinic in New York City and is a lead author for the diagnosis and management of HIV-2 in adults for the AIDS Institute of New York State. So jumping right into this topic, Dr. Shah, can you give us a brief overview of HIV-2? Sure, there are two main types of HIV, type one, responsible for the worldwide pandemic, and type two, which accounts for only 0.01% of all cases in, in the United States. The majority of individuals with HIV-2 are from West Africa, or have had sexual contact or shared injection drug equipment with someone from this region. And how is HIV-2 diagnosed? Well, the recommended algorithm for diagnosing HIV infection will distinguish HIV-1 from HIV-2. The, the standard screening tests, like the fourth generation assay will be positive for either. And the second step is a differentiation assay specifically designed to distinguish HIV-1 from HIV-2 or dual infection. So if you have a negative screening test, you don't have to be concerned that somehow you're missing infection with HIV-2. Also, as I mentioned, HIV-2 infection in the US is extremely rare with about 200 cases identified. Can you briefly describe the primary differences between HIV-1 and HIV-2? Firstly, both HIV-1 and HIV-2 can cause AIDS but HIV-2 is associated with slower disease progression than HIV-1 because of lower plasma viral loads. And because of lower viral loads, HIV-2 is transmitted less efficiently than HIV-1 by either sexual contact and from mother to child. As with HIV-1, disease progression in HIV-2 infection correlates with increasing plasma HIV-2 viral load levels. And lastly, HIV-2 manifests similar signs, symptoms, and opportunistic infections as seen with HIV-1. And what are some of the similarities and differences when treating patients with HIV-1 versus those with HIV-2? So let's first discuss similarities. Treatment is indicated for anyone diagnosed and should be initiated as soon as possible, preferably at the first visit. Secondly, viral load monitoring should be used to assess treatment effectiveness. We're very fortunate that in New York State, an HIV-2 viral load can be obtained by sending a blood sample to the health department's Wadsworth Laboratory. Obtaining an HIV-2 viral load is a necessary and required step to effectively manage HIV-2 infection. And lastly, prophylaxis for and treatment of opportunistic infections are the same. Now, when it comes to differences, due to limited clinical trials of antiretroviral treatment in people with HIV-2, therapy recommendations are from for HIV-2 are mostly derived from studies done in HIV-1. Mm -hmm. Also, resistance testing in the form of genotype or phenotype for HIV-2 is not commercially available in the United States. So decisions on switching therapy have to be based on clinical parameters and assumptions of cross-resistance patterns. And the next difference is the most important. Certain medications used for HIV-1 are not effective against HIV-2. Specifically, the non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor class, NNRTIs, the recently approved attachment inhibitor, Fostemsevir, the fusion inhibitor, and fervitide, and the protease inhibitor, atazanavir, are not effective against HIV-2. That being said, this won't impact initial treatment recommendations, which are based on integrase inhibitor therapy, which are effective against HIV-2. That is a, a mouthful <laughs> to say all those, <laughs> for sure. Um, so finally, where can providers go for more information about this topic? Well, as you suggested at the beginning, providers should review the recently updated New York State Institute guideline the diagnosis and management of HIV-2 in adults. It's comprehensive and very practical. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Shah, and I hope that this is a useful resource for our viewers.